Hi, I'm Hayley and I'm at the 2024 Southern Cross Regional here in Australia. I'm here joined by Team 5584 IC Robotics from Melbourne, Victoria. This is their 10th year anniversary and I'm so excited to tell you about their team. They are consistently semi-finalists or finalists here at the Australian Regionals. Today we're going to go over their climber, their arm and scoring mechanism and then finally we're going to look at their superstructure. Let's take a look at this team in Behind the Bonkers. Sophie, would you be able to tell me about your climber? Yeah, of course. So this is our climber. It, each side runs off a Neo motor um, with a 20 to 1 ratio. So how it works is we have four like spools here and so they will run down the arm. We, they're aluminium which we cut using our CNC machine. And then we have a four spring which goes down with it ensuring it can come up and down smoothly. It moves from the rope going down there and it comes down and around and into the spool there uh, which we found to work really well. Um, the way our hook works is we use I mean, maybe 10 different hook types to see which one would work better with making sure when we go on the chain, the chain can slip down nicely and up to the section there, which we found to work really well. Let's hand it over to Cameron right now, who will be telling us about the arm. Yeah, so our arm pretty much feeds through the uh, intake. So as soon as the note enters our arm, it will auto detect, it'll auto -detect it and close the intake and we can uh, bring our arm out to score into the ample or trap, depending if we're on the chain or not. So, Sophie, you want to do a note through? All right. Um, amping. And then it will come down and do that. All right, yeah. So the arm is running off a single Neo with a 90 to 1 gearbox going into a 3.4 to 1 sprocket, just running off the chain. Turn it over to Aldrich now, who will be telling us about the superstructure. So the superstructure in this robot is basically two really massive plates that span the entire length of the robot. Um, every single subsystem on the robot relies on this big plate. And it's been a really good learning experience for the team to, to be cohesive in the design and manufacturing of this robot. Because this is such a massive plate, we simply don't have the funds to run multiple renditions of this part. And so far, this is our second iteration, which is a great hallmark of our design. Um, part, of this, uh, part of this plate includes having some mounting holes for tanks, spools and the pulleys, and mounts to uh, mount, holds, the, holds the, the, the battery box and shooter and er literally everything on the robot. Um, in previous years, we've had some issues with um, maintaining a cohesive robot design. And with this big plate, we've learned quite a lot in manage, uh, managing a cohesive CAD model and working together with other subsystems. Thank you all so much for telling me about your robot. I wish you good luck for the competition. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.